question of Robert and, and Billy, obviously. Um, is there any uh, musical direction or a change in musical direction, or, or is it still fucking like Igniter as we've known and come to love over the years? Uh, we're still trying to do what we've always done, and you know, that's you know, play classic metal. And, uh, you know, we get lucky sometimes and pull it off, you know, and other times less so. But I, I think that, uh, yeah, the things, that, well, having the new guys in the band is definitely, because they're real into it, it's, it's helped a lot. Yeah. And, and, it's, and it's made uh, making new songs uh, very inspiring. Uh, and, uh, and they're also very, very dependable. So, uh, you know, we're stoked to have them in the band. And, but as far as, we haven't really changed what we're doing. So who's the uh, still a chief songwriter? Is is you obviously right? Yeah. Let these guys write. Chief, Actually, chief or only? Uh, <laughs> no. Uh, well, for a while, when things really went crazy uh, after Erica quit, uh, for some reason, because we were always uh, collaborative with Erica, like everybody came up with their own parts and you yeah. know, throw riffs around. But when Erica split, I thought, I thought the band was going to die. And so I just like, I'm going to start writing songs and making these people learn them. And then hopefully something good will happen. And, uh, and the good thing happened that Jason showed up. And I think he kind of felt sorry for us. Cause it was like, you still don't have a singer. Well, they were, I, I was, you know, Stu and I are in sad wings, right? right. Together. So, yeah. you know, I'd come over, we'd have sad wings rehearsal and I'd be, you know, Hey, so how did the, how did the, the vocal auditions go, you know, for igniter? And he, laugh and tell the war stories about what had gone down or what had not gone down you know the nightmares of trying out a singer a heavy metal singer is hard to find because you have as you can imagine you have cats coming in going hey i'm a singer and you're you you who are not a singer are a better singer than the guy that says that they're a fucking singer right yeah after saying that little nugget there is the reason and the way i actually became a singer is I had a band a fucking four decades ago, literally, and I had a band trying out singers, who, people who said they were singers, and we weren't singers, and we were going, dude, we're better than you are, and you're calling yourself a singer. Fuck you, get out of here. We're gonna, we're gonna sing, right. okay? Because this is, it's over. So anyway, uh, I was asking Stuart, you know, so how did it go? And he'd tell me the funny stories about people coming in and trying out, and I, I just felt. I did feel sorry for you, didn't I? I was like, "Fuck." Well, you know what? At least I, I'll, I heard the material, and I said, "Well, I'll at least make the record." So I started That's... working on the songs with the guy, yeah, you, with, you with everybody, yeah, yeah. and and then I was like, "This shit is fun, man." <laughs> so I just stuck around. Yeah. You know. But well, now I'm, uh, if I may, now now I am getting involved with the writing and the lyrics and. And, and how kind of the songs are evolving from parts into verse, chorus, bridge, right. etc. With uh, zigzag with the lyric and things that work and blah, blah, blah. But the main riffs definitely come from Stuart. And now even some of them from Robert. Well, Robert and he's and riffs for two, two new know, songs now. And, and Billy can write songs too. So yeah. we're not in any uh, dire straits at all as far as... Yeah. song parts it's or riffs or riff it, riffage so, so to speak right. it's gonna happen you know we just want to you know put something together and go hey that's badass or like uh and if something doesn't like grow legs and start to become a monster it goes in the garbage yeah. and that's what that's no that's normal that's like making a film that's like painting something it's the yeah, same thing exactly well, I want to touch on uh something you just said like you're just you said you're just now getting into uh lyric writing and stuff how long has that been that you didn't write lyrics or did you start we started writing on the year it's of the metal tiger. year okay. of the metal tiger right yeah yes. okay. there's some things there's some things on year of the metal tiger but the i think for the most part the titles and the the you know the formation of the so, of the lyric itself and the topics were Kind I would of write lyrics, and he'd throw a lot of them out. <laughs> just like I don't need any of these words. So, Sometimes that's see, not to sound like a broken record, but see what I mean. Yeah. You gotta you gotta make it work for what's trying to happen. I say if you know the road wants you to turn left, turn left. Right. right? Yeah. If you're feeling something, stay with that feeling until you realize it. 
you made a wrong turn. You back up, right? Yeah, but right, see, yeah. having too much is good. You write too much, you, oh, yeah. you throw out the bananas. <laughs> the right? bananas, yeah. yeah. That's for Tony, bananas. <laughs> well, let's get into uh, you guys played. You talked about Year of the Middle Tiger. You guys played a lot from Year of the Middle Tiger tonight. Yes. But no sanctuary, new video, new song. New fucking blood, I think I can say. Yeah. So uh, let, let's start with you, Stu, a little bit about the production and direction and editing of that video, because I think you were like the I brainchild, right? I thought it up and I did it. Well, fucking uh, toot your horn, dude. Yeah. Uh, I, well, I, I'm, relati- I'm new to videography, but I really, really like it. And, uh, and, I kind of decided that I think like all music should have videos now. I mean, or something, some visual, just because uh, you know I'm just I'm just have too much ADD or something. Like that well, that's that's the age we're in. And most musicians, most musicians and artists, I, I think have some level oh, yeah. of some some of that. Yeah, anyway, definitely. Carry on, I mean, ADD. Uh, yeah, yeah. I mean, I've always right. I've always said that. If you're if you're boring me on stage, I'm gonna go get a beer and right. I'm, I might come back or I might not. Right. So you know, yeah, there's definitely a lot of that yeah. in heavy metal. Yeah. yeah, but so I just thought, well, what can I do? Well, I'll make a destroyed city. That's metal, and we need uh, a storyline. So how about lava monsters are attacking, yep. and then we fucking kill the lava monsters. <laughs> of course. But then there's a twist because at the end we turn into lava monsters. So you know, spoiler it, alert. It's a story arc. Can it's I, called a story yeah. arc. There's a, there's a huge possibility that I think I should leak right now. Go for it. No sanctuary video. We are lava monsters. To be continued. Oh shit! <laughs> to be continued. There should have been a big question mark. R- right? Yeah. Yeah. Video. Yeah. You know, in the next video, it'll. You'll be like, what are these law? Lo- oh, it's igniter dudes. They're turning. Oh. We turned back into igniter. Well, see, yeah, so yeah, see, yeah. I'm in. A, now I'm making videos with with Stewart. <laughs> Collaboration right here live. <laughs> well, the, main, the main reason why they're lava monsters was because it was like the easiest thing to make in After Effects. <laughs> I was like, well, what am I gonna do? I'm not gonna that make costumes. Hilarious. Yeah. So, so you did all the animation too, as well, right? Yeah, yeah. I, I built a 3D world in After Effects, and then it's. It's the way to do it, and then I, the, 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 I got the inspiration from watching um, uh, Kung Fury, because I, I watched how he made it, and he filmed everyone separately on green screen. Every, like, there's no two people, like, well, maybe a couple of sides, but for the most part, no two people were standing next to each other. Really? And he just composited it all together, and it's like, well, I can fucking do that. I mean, because that's the problem, you don't have, you know, uh, a big place to film it yeah so i just moved my couch and we filmed it in my living room oh, just one person at a time and then i could pause it all together and then it's cool that once you've got stuff in 3d and after effects you can fly cameras through and right yeah. wow <gasps> that's yeah. cool because i would have thought i mean watching the video you think that the all of you guys were together so that's that's yeah, really cool that's that's hollywood trickery <laughs> hollywood trickery or uh Stu's living room trickery <laughs> You know what's funny is that in some of the scenes where you see the lava monsters at a distance, mm-hmm. you'll notice these little blobs at our feet, and those are my dogs and <laughs> chihuahuas, and they're running around. And, uh, see, that's and trivia. Was, yeah, yeah, yeah. Trivia. Video, lava dogs. Igniter video trivia. What, what the blobs at their yeah. feet? I'm following that away. That's awesome. going to be in uh, metal, metal trivia games in the future. Yeah. yeah. Awesome. Jeopardy. <laughs> or... Yeah, sure. Why not? Whatever. Next question. So, uh, obviously, No Sanctuary is a new song, so let's talk about the new album, because uh, I know you guys, throughout the show, were mentioning to me about recording new albums and shit, or a new song. So, new album. New album. We have uh, all the drums recorded for six new songs, and we have two more songs that we're working on right now. Uh, and uh, And the drums are the... Are the most time-consuming part. Is that including No Sanctuary and Throw Them From The Cliff, etc.? Yeah. It is including them. Okay. Yeah. See, I don't even know this shit. Well, it's funny because we've been writing songs and not telling them about it. (laughs) We went ahead and recorded a couple of them. But he's going to love them. Here, write lyrics. Sing. 
right now. Uh, so is this going to be a full album or EP? Or because the trend oh, right now is eight EP. Eight songs. Okay. Full album. Eight songs. Eight songs. And if that was, you know, like it's going to be like 35 minutes. Like Kiss Destroyer was 35 minutes. Yeah. yeah. It's good enough for Kiss. It's got to be good. Good enough, enough for, for Igniter, right? Uh, we're, we're talking about doing a cover and putting it on a teaser CD to, to uh, have at the Ragnarokker Fest in right. Chicago, May 6th. Yeah. Now yeah. we're going to maybe put uh, three or four songs, uh, or like three of the original songs and then a, then a cover to make it worthwhile to people. Badass. Take Two Disguise is being re-released in Brazil and I think maybe worldwide. I don't know. Talk to me about dies Ari and uh that how that whole thing came about because i think i read that they're going to release in like your whole back catalog right <laughs> maybe is, is i have no idea <laughs> i have no idea really exactly how we got in i mean uh uh um adder is like a super awesome guy and i guess we uh he released what did he release uh, take, take to, to the, the sky. sky on vinyl uh years ago and uh, and he's gotten back in touch with us, and he's still a big Igniter fan. And uh, so somehow, you know, he even showed up at my house and like, came here all the way from Brazil. Uh, but uh, he's down, and he wants to release a bunch of our back. I don't know about all of it, but uh, like at least the well, J- Jason stuff. He's got Take to the Sky, and we're you know we're gonna be able to do we we can do we're gonna do he's gonna do Metal Tiger, but there's kind of a we're in limbo with that because MVD. Oh, uh, still, still has, has it right now, but uh, he's going to reissue it, and that'll be cool. And yeah. we in hope in hopes that it'll come out on vinyl, because a lot of like this type of old school classic metal fan they they like vinyl. Yeah, yeah. So oh, yeah. there's a total uh, of resurgence of vinyl for sure. Yeah, I don't think it ever died. I just think it, it became inconvenient for the world. Yeah. Right, but metal fans never really gave it up. He has vinyl. I have vinyl. I have vinyl. Right. Rob McNeese has vinyl. <laughs> yeah, a lot of motherfuckers have vinyl. Yeah. Anyway, um, but I'm sure the Spider Queen will happen. Yeah. Uh, what about the? I don't the, know if Road the, of Bones. Uh, I don't know if Road of Bones will see it, but I know Take to the Skies already happening. Are they dealing with uh, new releases too, or are they just strictly back catalog? Our new record. Our new record will be on that label. Awesome. So cool. And on vinyl, I'm I'm think I'm hearing. That's the idea. That's what we're all praying for. Yeah. Shit yeah. So we talked about Ragnarok. What else is on the uh, horizon besides a new record, obviously? But um, actually, let me let me ask you: Do we have a not a hard timeline, but maybe a, a soft release guess on when that new uh, shit will come out uh, november 12th okay that's not hard that's i mean that's not soft that's hard <laughs> november yeah, I, 12th I okay completely pull that out of my butt but that's awesome. i just hoped it would make you happy that's when, hilarious. well well now you're now you're now you're committed i mean uh, you just video. fucked yourself <laughs> uh, I, <laughs> this, I is, no this is going out to hundreds pushed back of people uh, you'll hear that it'll be pushed back <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's true for we, promotional we don't, reasons. We don't even have all the fucking songs written yet, and he's saying he's putting it out November 12th. Well, we've got six out of eight. I mean, we, with no we vocals that. on them. Go ahead, put it out. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. <laughs> Instrumental with, uh, then you can download the uh, vocal this track later. Oh yeah, vocals on four of them. See, we be half instrumental, half. Vocal. And then there's some scratch vocals yeah. on one of them. Instrumental, great. Sounding. It'll be instra vocal. Instra vocal. Instra. Hush. <laughs> I'm just putting out November 20th. I mean, that's not anybody's birthday in here, but anything. Thanksgiving. Just, yeah. You know, Thanksgiving. Yeah. I'm just saying November Holiday 20th season. is is somebody's in birthday. In time for Christmas. In time for Christmas. Yeah. All right, that'll work. Fuck it. Why not? Right. Shows. Any other shows besides we, Ragnarok? We have Ragnarokker. We have we have another show after that in uh, in Austin. We uh, don't really have a whole lot of other things because we need to be finishing up the fucking record. Yeah. I, I like how you looked at him. By November. Yeah. The drums are set up with mics on them in the studio right now. See? Right now. So I mean, it's, if we so, were so here, where's Pat? we could be process. recording drums right oh. now. Pat's walking around the Well, band that's not like my a, fault then. Like a shark circling meat. I saw him circle a couple he, times. I, I, you know what that means? He's it's time for us to finish this interview so we can drive. Shut home. the fuck uh, up so right. we can go. But home. I'm not. I'm not putting any pressure on. It's Pat. 
Yeah, uh, yeah. He's the yeah. bad guy here. Yeah. Well. Like that skit from Saturday Night Live and formed a movie later. It's Pat. Ooh. <laughs> I love Igniter. <laughs> It's fucking awesome. So, igniter. igniter. Any any uh last comments? Any any shit you want the uh, poor schmucks that are watching this video right now yeah. to uh, to know about you Did guys? You say poor schmucks or poor four? poor schmucks? <laughs> poor schmucks either schmucks. one, either one. Uh, poor poor, poor or four poor schmucks. Poor four. Actually, there's one more thing uh, I, I want to say you before you. French. I do. I, 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 speak, that, I speak a lot of different languages, Latin, you know. Some kind of, yeah. yeah, some shit like part that. Part. The other thing I wanted to say before uh, you guys give your last comments is uh, when you guys hit the stage, there's a lot of Texas metal history that that steps foot on that. I mean, you've got this guy right here, McMaster, who's been in a shit ton of bands that it's we can't even all. name right now. Name, name one I metal mean, band. That he's been in or he hasn't been in. Uh, which, that would be easier, wouldn't it? <laughs> yeah. Van Halen. One that he, ha yeah, one he hasn't been in. Van Halen and ACDC. I yeah. mean, you know, but, but hey, um, there's an opening. Right? Yeah, <laughs> yes, yeah, ACDC. that's true. Yeah, yes. and I and Van Igniter Halen, might be I looking think, for a new singer. I think, <laughs> I think there's a door going like this in the Van Halen. Oh, it's too. a revolving yeah, door, that's for sure. Weird. But back to the, I mean, when you guys step on stage, there's so much history. I mean, there's the Agony column. There's there's the McMaster history with toys and Watchtower and teeth and all that do you well, think that guy it's half of agony column in the fucking band yeah i know, yeah, I know because you know, billy's kind of crazy, yeah, isn't fucking it? crazy man pat was in a legendary band called the offenders, the offenders. that's yes. known worldwide well, yeah. they invented well, punk rock yeah, yeah. pretty much yeah. especially yeah, I mean, in he's, texas he's so. part of that i mean there's there's so much history when you guys step on stage does that play into um there's almost a hundred of the notoriety of, of Igniter, or does that have any influence on what you guys are doing <laughs> no, right now? So. I don't think so. Yeah, I don't think so. If you, if you, I was going to say, if you add up all the years that he, the uh, years of experience that each guy in the band has, it's like a hundred fucking years. It's actually 666 years, exactly. That's so we should probably metal. stop. Because if we keep getting, <laughs> I'm not it'll saying be 667 and. I think that's a good note to end on. So, any last comments? We'll start with the the Bat Lord, aka Stu. Uh, last comments to your Igniter fans. I, I'd just uh, like to say thank you. Uh, it's it's super fun to play Igniter music, and I'm glad that there are people out there that like it. Uh, and you know, it uh, and it you know gives me a reason to uh, get up in the morning. And <laughs> but uh, no, it's just thank you very much, and uh, and keep an eye out for our next record, and buy it. Steal it, download it online. Buy it, steal it, but if you steal it, then come to a Niger show and buy like three shirts. Jesus yeah? Will hate you if you steal it. Yeah, buy some shirts. Jesus and Satan both will hate you at the same time. So, I mean, you got to cover all your bases. <laughs> Man, I just want everyone who likes metal to have fun liking metal. Yeah. Yeah. I think that's that. That's a summary of an igniter show, right it's there. It's kind of I mean. it's kind of the idea. Well, you know, you you saw the show. I mean, I think everybody kind of has kind this, of this grin on their face because we're not taking ourselves too seriously. I, I when I when people go igniter, I didn't know you were an igniter. What what kind of metal is that? And it's it's leather and studs metal. Yeah. You know, yeah. bands that. You know, like the guys in Running Wild, you know, like the exactly. stuff, they're all leather there and stuff. There was actually a dude wearing a Running know, Wild shirt badass. tonight. Yeah. And, and, you know, that we have a little bit of that German metal. We have a little bit of the Priest and the King yes. Diamond and the Dio and all that vibe kind of in a blender. But it really kind of goes to, like, we want it to be, you know, no qualms about dressing in leather and studs and... You know, the bullet belt. High, high screams and bullet belt. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. We want it to be that sort of throwback, and we want that it to have that sound too. Um, and I think fun. that it, I think yeah, and I think that it. At the same time, we're still only painting it that into that corner that much. We're still open to, you know, whatever else might happen right. too, as far as a sound or a. You know, Pekin Valley, right? But the Pekin Valley seems to find its way to be in the realms of, you know, the, in the style of 
Euro metal or power metal or a little bit of thrash metal sometimes, you know. I think I'll touch on, uh, you said, you know, what kind of metal are you? And I think the answer to that is metal, you know. True, true metal. True metal. metal. Well, you know, and that's a new term, too. I mean, I think you guys hearken back to a time when it was just metal. Right. If you played any kind of heavy fucking riff, then it was metal. There was right. there was no genre, there was no subgenre, there was no sub subgenre. It was right. just fucking metal, and I think that's what you guys embody is that spirit, which you know, Jason, you were talking about, is the true fucking heavy metal. So, with that, I will say that this has been Rusty Connor with Lone Star Metal, yeah. and this is Stu ah. and Jason. Ah with igniter.